Well, at this point, the initial phase of the research is to make an ester or esters. What's an ester? The next time you bite into a, uh, a banana, that sweet smell that smells like a banana, that's an ester. Esters are very small molecules and they have nice fragrance uh, odors associated with them. We need to, we're designing new catalysts, green catalysts, and we need to show that they could produce esters. I don't want to produce esters per se. Instead, what I'm interested in, do, in doing is making polyesters, that is fibers, using green catalysts. When esters or polyesters, for that matter, are made, the catalyst is either uh, sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid, or phosphoric acid. You get one go around with it. You use it once, and then you need to wash it out, clean it out, and find some, somewhere to take it. Okay. In, in this case, when we make these catalysts, okay, they're not only re reusable, but if they become dull with time, we can reactivate them. So nothing's wasted. Nothing's ever thrown away. And that's the beauty of this. When esters are made commercially, you usually heat them up to about 130 degrees for about three to five hours. We made an ester here in under 20 minutes in almost quantitative yield using one of our catalysts. We want to see how active uh, is, is this material. As a precursor, we're using polyvinyl chloride. The reason for using polyvinyl chloride is, quite frankly, it's cheap. And ultimately, if we're able to make polyesters using polyvinyl chloride-based catalysts, we would have enough to file for two U.S. patents. Now, what Samuel is doing is getting hands-on experience making these reagents. He is getting hands-on experience running IRs, and he's getting hands-on experience in terms of keeping an active notebook. And a notebook may sound uh, trivial, but it's not. It's a legal document. So it's very important that Samuel learn to keep good, accurate records. Al Sam, it's uh, Louis Talks for uh, Alliance for Minority Participation. It's actually for students majoring in science, uh, engineering, course and mathematics. What I'm doing with uh, Professor De Rosa, it's um, uh, I'm learning ways to uh, create catalysts. By being involved in experimentation, it actually enabled me to um, to actually set things in order. It's a step-by-step -step thing. You have to be like, you have to be careful when you're doing research. You have to be positive and take notes. He's bright, he's enthusiastic, and he's the kind of student that I uh, wish I, I could uh, go, uh, guide him through, through his PhD. I would get a lot of good chemistry out of him. After I graduate, I'm thinking about two things to go for my firm D or to do research in chemistry. Like I love to learn new things every day, to see reactions, how they perform, how they formed when we actually mix them together. That's uh, my, 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 my goal.